What if I want to upload 500 pieces of data at once to my database and give each one a different timestamp? So for example, if I want to post one, two, and so on until I have all numbers until nine, this is what the end result will be. Uh, so let me show you how I got that. So um, I downloaded Postman, click on get started, and then download and then uh, some great docs about how to use their kind of sandbox and how to write test scripts. But I'll show you how to do that now. So here in Postman, I'm gonna create a new collection here. I'm gonna call it test for the video. And I'm gonna just do all that later. I'm gonna create. Uh, so now I have test for the video. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna add a request. I'm going to call it a grid request, and I'm going to call it, well, I can leave that blank, and then uh, save to test for the video. So here's my good request. I could test any of these, but I'm going to just do post. And then I'm going to use the URL for Postman Echo, and that way, um, and then I need to include post here, even though I include it here. That's just how their sandbox works. And then I'm going to create a global variable. I already created it here. I just typed in nums. I said the initial value will be one and the current value is one. And then let me write here a raw JSON. And I'm gonna say test number is, and that's nums. And for good measure, I'm going to say hello, here is hi. You can actually import it as a binary, or you can type it uh, in raw, or you can enter key value pairs as the body. And then I'm going to be manipulating this num so that every request that increases. These are helpful code snippets that you can just click on. I'm going to first get the global variable, so I'm going to save it as nums, and it has some nice code completion here, G for global variable. So it's reminding me that I have that. I'm gonna extract the last number in the string. It's just a silly little example. You can also use JavaScript date functions to have real timestamps. We can set the global variable to that set a global variable. So this is gonna execute every time right before posting. It's gonna send whatever that updated value of nums is to this endpoint. Let's run that right now. So send. And as you can see here, it added two. And then I'll do it again. Now it's one, two, three. But we don't want to click this 500 times. We want to use the runner, which can do it faster uh, and automatically. In order to actually see the results of our testing though, we just got a PM test. And then whatever you put in here will show up in the test logs from the collection runner. If you don't put that in here, this kind of stuff will only be in wherever your server records are, like on AWS, that would be CloudWatch logs, depending on how you set up your logging. But if you wanna see the results of your tests right away, you gotta write a test. We wanna output the value of the global variable. So get a global variable, nums, const nums equals postman globals get nums, and then output that. And then important here is to save and then open the runner and then test for the video. And this is grayed out, but that's okay because there's only one to choose anyway. So it chose that. Let's see, we already have one, two, three here. Let's add six more. So this is gonna run six times. We don't need to keep variable values because we're using global variables. There are also other types of variables in Postman, like environment variables, but we're using global variables, so those save even if you don't check that box. Uh, we could also be using a JSON file or another type, and that data file could replace the value between the curly braces. We're just gonna run. And here you see, we got all the way up to 123, 456, 789.